Do you know what we have today? What do we have? <laughs> One of my favorite things. A new bottle of Jack Daniels. Oh, the 90 proof single malt. Yeah. So uh, thank you, Northwest Bourbon, for letting us have a sample of this. It is a travel exclusive, so it is not one that we have come across. Nope, I think I just saw their press release that it came out in September exclusively to duty free and military, military that yeah. sort of thing, yes. Hi friends, I'm Laura. This is Troy, we're Baker Drinks. We've got a review of Jack Daniels Single Malt finished in Oloroso. Yeah, so 90 it's proofer. Cool. Don't know a whole lot else about it because it's such a brand new bottle. I've literally only seen one review on the internet of this and that was from the guy that sent that to us. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully we're second to market with it and we can share it with you guys. And I know I like their other single malts, the twice barreled, the fancy one. Um, well, this smells pretty darn good. And we like single malts. And you love Jack Daniels. And I love Jack Daniels. I mean, what isn't to love about everything that this bottle stands for, I guess? I mean, as long as it tastes like something other than bananas, I think I'm going to be okay. <laughs> you like bananas. <laughs> He's hating, but he likes it. I, I like the nose a lot. It's definitely malty. Uh, it's very light. I don't get like the Pacific Northwest or the Texas single malt nose on this. It's, no. it's definitely more of that Kentucky single malt nose or, or Tennessee actually. Um, it's uh, a little grainy. Yeah, it doesn't have that like extra tropical fruit that I get from the right, other ones. Right. But there is um, definitely some fruit with the Oloroso Sherry. I definitely am picking that up. Shall we get a new palette? <laughs> definitely. Cheers. Oh, so there's where that fruit shines through. And I get a little of the Jack Daniels nut. Nutty, nut, nuttiness. <laughs> <laughs> Careful what you're saying. There. I was trying to fix it and I think I was making it worse. <laughs> it's definitely not like the, the super strong sherry finish like you get on the Texas, you know, where they're, you know, super hot summers and and it ages very rapidly well and i don't know how long they um, had it in either so I, we, we didn't do a whole lot of research on this but that's okay we just wanted to try it and uh share it with you yeah that one sip though i i'm liking what i'm tasting so far yeah on the palate I think I could be confused and pick something other than single malt. On the nose, definitely single malt. Yeah. On the palate, I think because we don't normally get like a nutty flavor on, on I can't think of any single malts that we've gotten that on. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not super nutty to me. It's more on the finish. Like when I breathe, I get yeah, a hint of the yeah, nut. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, on the palate, it's, it's kind of fruity like a you know, maybe like dried orchard fruit, like dried apple chips or pear chips or something like that, but subtle. It's not like, yes. it's not like yeah. overpowering. It's not like you're, you're tasting a, like a non-peated scotch or a, oh, no. this or is... a Japanese where the <laughs> fruit is real bright. This is the fruits there. It's just, it's like dried fruit mm -hmm. and, and, th and there's some spice. But it's like really easy to drink. Oh too. yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, honestly, I think someone that would want to get into single malts, this could be one that it has more of those familiar flavors if you're a bourbon mm -hmm. drinker. I mean, it's not bourbon, no. it, but it has some of those familiar- It's bourbon adjacent. <laughs> sweet, uh, vanilla, oaky. Uh, those notes are definitely in this. I don't know the age. Don't know really anything about it other than we can't get it because we haven't traveled and we're not military. Yeah, I like this a lot. Um, if we ever travel abroad, I will keep my eyes open for it. Definitely. Um, again, thank you, Mark. This is awesome. Again, we don't know a ton about the bottle other than it's brand new. It's a travel exclusive, single malt, finished in Oloroso Sherry, 90 proof.
Blue yep. label, Jack Daniels. I will superimpose the bottle over this if I can find a picture of one. I'm sure you can. Uh, but I, all I can say is I recommend it to really anyone that likes whiskey. I don't even know the price. I want to say he paid about 80, no 80 $85 for it, for a liter. No idea. Yeah. But I, yeah, I don't think it's crazy expensive, but I, I'd recommend that. Even if you don't think you like malt, I think that would be one yep. that, that could be for everybody. Easy to drink, sweet, malty. Perfect start to my day. All right. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>